but it's not that bad. It's really, really, really not that bad if you just remember your notes. So the first thing, if you remember for all of our trigonometric functions, the A, B, and the C is exactly the same. Right? The only difference is our trigonometric function as well as what the graph looks like, right? Sine and cosines are those nice little curves. Cosecant and secant are the reciprocals. And then tangent were those kind of little S curves, right? Tangent and cotangent. But the transformations, guys, and everything is always going to be the same, except amplitude is only for sine and cosine. So the amplitude here is absolute value of A. So absolute value of 5 is just 5, period. Um, remember, for sine, cosine, cosecant, and secant is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of B. For tan and cotangent, it's pi divided by absolute value of B. Um, so this one is going to be 2 pi over 3. Well, we can't really do anything else with that, right? That's just going to be 2 pi divided by 3. And But then we need to get into, it doesn't ask for us frequency, but it does ask for the phase shift and the vertical translation. So phase shift, previously known as the horizontal translation. Um, remember, that's basically going to be dealing with your C. But as we've talked about over and over again, this B, which is your change in period, affects your horizontal translation. So rather than just saying pi, pi over 6 to the right, because that's incorrect, what I've told you to do is take BX minus C and set it equal to 0. So whatever's inside your function, set that equal to 0 and solve. 3x minus 6, sorry, 3x minus pi over 6 equals 0. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to do this over here. And then we'll add pi over 6 to both sides. Right? And then, Diana, I will divide by 3. Dividing by 3 is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, pi over 18. So your phase shift is pi over 18 to the right, because it's positive, right? The minus pi over 6 would have been shifting it to the right, but we're actually going pi over 6 to the right, because that ends up being positive. And then your vertical translation is the same as what we've done for quadratics, radicals, logarithms. That is just your shift up or down. That's going to be your value of d, which you guys can see is 0.5. So we're going to say um, 0.5 shifting up. Cool. Questions? Good. All right.